Hey guys! Welcome back to our YouTube channel everyone. It's Skipper here and in today's video I'm going to be going over my top five YouTube pet peeves with you guys. Before I get into my pet peeves I want to give a big thank to Labville Lulu for giving me this idea. Be sure to subscribe to her YouTube channel and follow her Instagram. The link will be in the description of this video. Thank you so much Labville. Okay, so if you guys aren't familiar with like what a pet peeve is, it's basically something that really annoys a person. In this video, I'm going over my top five YouTube pet peeves. I have nothing against YouTube. I mean, I obviously love YouTube, but these are the five things that really do get on my nerves that relate to YouTube. Okay, so number five is disliking the video before it even starts. This happens to us a lot. We'll put a video on Premiere, and before it even starts, it already has a couple dislikes. I'm like, you haven't even seen the video yet, so how do you know if you hate it already? My number four biggest pet peeve is when people join my premieres just to start drama in the live chat. It's kind of funny though because they'll be the first to join the premiere and then they'll just start trolling in the comment section. It's kind of funny but at the same time it's not because it kind of bothers people who are trying to enjoy the video. Number three is definitely going to be clickbait. I hate it when YouTubers clickbait. They'll make a video seem super interesting by the title and thumbnail, but then the title and video have nothing to do with each other. It's just really annoying. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who kinda is pet peeved about this next one, but this next pet peeve of mine is the Coppa Law. So the Coppa Law was introduced in late 2019, but it officially took act in 2020. Basically, it was like a children's privacy protection act. The purpose of the law was to protect young children from seeing inappropriate content. There's something called YouTube Kids for a reason, but we don't have to go into that. Anyways, basically the COPPA law made you choose if your videos or channel is made for kids or not. If it was not made for kids, then you're good to go. But for people whose channel are made for kids, they got turned off comments, sharing, video downloading, live chat, and even the bell for their channel. This happened to our channel and I was super bummed because I really loved live chatting with you guys and commenting and for months I was stuck with this COPPA law. About a month ago I was doing my research and I realized that I didn't have to mark my videos were made for kids anymore because my videos are actually a general audience meaning they're for all ages. So now that I have comments back on my channel I'm super happy but I still consider the COPPA law my pet peeve because it was so annoying to deal with for a few months. All right, now it's time for my number one pet peeve. My number one pet peeve is when people copy my videos. Copying YouTubers videos is so not okay. It's honestly really disrespectful because YouTubers work super hard on their videos and just to see someone else copy it, super disrespectful. We totally get it if you're a fan of our work because we truly love and appreciate all our fans but if you're really a true fan, you wouldn't go and try and copy off our work. I have noticed this especially with our Problem Child series. Problem Child is an original series that we made up about three years ago. It is highly disrespectful to copy it. All my videos, including Problem Child and all my other content, are actually protected by law. So I get notified by YouTube whenever somebody copies or re-uploads my videos. You can actually get in huge trouble for it. But my doll's world, movies bounce off each other all the time. Yes, some movies do copy off each other sometimes, and it eventually leads to legal problems. The same goes for YouTube. I say this as nicely as possible, but if we see more people copying our videos, we're going to start flagging them because I've given everyone enough warnings and I'm honestly really tired of it. I appreciate those who at least try to think of us and give credit, but no, copying is still copying, credit or no credit. Thank you for everyone who is original, because copying is never cool. But anyways, those are my top five YouTube pet peeves. If we have any of the same YouTube pet peeves, feel free to shoot us a comment and let us know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share for more.